all for being here today. You know, let me welcome you to a pretty special place, right? This is the future home of Marshall Baseball. It's the future home plate, the future pitching mound, the future first, second, and third base, the future outfield, the future place where this community will come to watch our student athletes play baseball with their family, their friends, in a place that has tried desperately to make this happen over the last, let's call it 50, 60 years, right? But in real earnest over the last five. And here we are on the cusp of the future home of Marshall Baseball. Just thrilled to be a part of this community that cares so deeply about our athletic program, about our university, that they're willing to invest their time, energy, and effort to make something a reality, a dream into a reality. This field of dreams will do just that. It'll be a place where we gather as a community and watch young people do something they love. So I'm just so excited to introduce the person that helped us get this started, uh, who has set a vision and has tasked us with making it happen, uh, our president, Brad Smith. You know, Thomas Edison said, a vision without execution is merely hallucination. We're standing here today at the site of the future baseball stadium for the Marshall Thundering Herd baseball team. And it sits adjacent to the amazing softball field where our women continue to show their athletic prowess each and every game. This is the site of an amazing athletics complex. And you don't get to this point without dreaming big and having people make things happen. And for more than six decades, this dream has been worked on by many people. We get the privilege of standing on the shoulders of giants. No giant stands taller than Coach Jack Cook. We're very delighted to be here today to be able to bring his vision and dream to reality. And there are many others who have contributed along the way, as Christian said, especially in the last five years in earnest. But the fans have never given up hope. At times, we were a little bit filled with despair, but we got there. But I'll tell you, all coaches come out and make this happen. And Coach Bobby Pruitt has been a big part of making today possible. And I want to give a round of applause to him. He showed us what championships looked like and felt like on another field, and now we're ready to do the same here. But I will tell you, when we set out with this vision, we were very clear to make this a reality. There were three criteria we were going to have to check off. The first was cost, the second was time to play ball, and the third was what was best for the community. And we are making our way into the cost area. And I will tell you today, we walked onto this field $13.8 million short. But we're here to tell you there's a special guest that is asked to join us today. So without further ado, I'm actually going to put this microphone down and ask this guest to come out on the future field of the Marshall Thundering Herd baseball team to see what we can talk about as it relates to $13.8 million. Our special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, a man with many titles, a governor, a businessman, a coach, a husband, a father. Before all those titles, he carried one other title, a distinguished son of Marshall, the governor of the great state of West Virginia. Skinny. And all I heard forevermore 
was how, what an impact a great baseball stadium would be to this area. Now, I gotta, before I say anything else, I just found out that Coach Fruitt is now inducted or going to be inducted into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. And, and that's great stuff. He should be in the National Coaches Football Hall of Fame. He has absolutely done so much. He called me about this, and then we worked and worked and worked to try to find a way through all the different angles that we have at the governor's office and everything. From the standpoint of economic development, it's so long overdue, it's unbelievable. And so, congratulations to all of you. You make me proud. You make me really, really proud. And Coach Wagner, and Kristen, all you guys, but you've got a team now that is second to none, and God knows I'm proud to be a part of it. Thank you so much. Yep. Yeah, Governor, will you do us the honor of throwing out the ceremonial first pitch for economic development? Catcher, can you come over to the plate? Pitch him out. I want to do this a little different. Uh oh. <laughs> Now here's my deal. You back up. Okay, now back up a little more, right there. Now I've thrown this several times. You've caught it every time. If I throw it this time and you miss it, I'm taking the check with me. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you. 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 Thank